Hey guys, what's up, it's Elp here. Welcome back to the channel. As we continue our iOS 16 coverage in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys iOS 16 features that Apple really didn't tell us about. These features are some of the most advanced features that I find within the iPhone and with iOS 16, and Apple made no mention about it, so you wanna stick around and watch this entire video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is messages. In messages, there's two things I want to point out that Apple did not mention. Number one, there's a new audio message feature here where you can record yourself talking, right? So this will bring the message platform up to par with other social media platforms like Facebook Messenger and or WhatsApp, where you can press and hold to send a voice message directly within the actual extension here in the messages application. Super cool. Of course, you can press and hold and remove your finger to cancel. You can do that as well. But this is a brand new option Apple didn't talk about, and I think it's a really nice feature built in to the new messages in iOS 6. And now there's also some new stickers here with iOS 16 and let's take a look here at there's also six right here We have a stop yawning maybe a dizzy face right there So six in total that I've noticed are new within iOS 16 and there's a ton of new options to customize Your device in iOS 16 when it comes to your Memoji So if you go to your Memoji options here, there's a new clothing clothing options new hairstyles I mean there's a ton of new options to further customize your Memoji if that's something Thing you would like to do so inside of messages there are actually quite a bit of changes that Apple really didn't talk about now the next thing I want to move forward to is the heptics on your iPhone now you know that iOS has heptics when you do certain things like long press you feel that sensation that you're pressing on something these heptics have now been expanded so if we go into settings here and we head on over into sound and heptics we have new options down here so play heptics in ring or silent mode these are two new options which I recommend you turn on this a new feature sort of gives your device a, a more life feel like if you will so right here we also have system heptics which allows you to feel heptic from the Taptic engine on your iPhone directly on your iPhone. And the best new feature for the keyboard is the actual haptics for the keyboard as well. Now, keyboard did have the clicking sound options, but now you have actual haptics from the Taptic engine. Now, this is off by default. I recommend you turn it on. And when you're typing, it really feels like you're typing on an actual keyboard instead of on glass, right? Before, it was just a sound. Now, you actually get that sensation that you're pressing on something. And it's super cool, I think. It's it's something that Apple didn't talk about, but is a really cool new feature built into iOS 16. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is Face ID and or unlocking your iPhone with iOS 16 is different. So here's an iPhone running iOS 15. If I lock this device, I can unlock it, obviously just like so, as you can see right there. But if I try doing this in horizontal or landscape mode, it just doesn't work. It doesn't unlock on landscape mode, right? So this I noticed within iOS 16, you can now unlock your iPhone either vertical or horizontal, just like so. And I can go here, horizontal, and unlock just like so. Obviously, the animation has also changed here for the lock screen. As you can see, the lock is now smaller, but you can actually now authenticate, so make payments, make purchases, and use all the features with Face ID in landscape mode or horizontally, right? So this is a new feature that Apple has actually upgraded your Face ID in iOS 16. I think it's a really, really cool new feature, and I don't know if many of you guys knew about this, but Apple did not talk about it, and I think it's a really nice advancement for Face ID. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is AirPods. Now, we know that AirPods still do not have a separate menu or an option to manually update, but now if you have AirPods and you're going to connect your AirPods within iOS 16, you have this new option here that pops up on your screen. So I have the AirPods third generation here. If I pop them open, here on settings, I get a new menu, a new option available with AirPods, and I can go into this new option right here, and you see that AirPods now have its own category. Could this mean that Apple is working on on a way to manually update your AirPods, just like you do for your iPhone, where you go into AirPods settings and check for AirPods firmware updates and maybe update your AirPods in the future. That could be the case here. Apple could be working on an AirPods category where you can update them manually. So now you have the option to have your AirPods right here in its own separate category in settings. I have the AirPods Max here as well. So if I go ahead and uh, try to connect these AirPods Max, which I already did, I believe. So let's go ahead and connect AirPods Max here. So the AirPods Max also 
have their own category. Let's go ahead and connect that. And every pair of AirPods that you connect, now it's own category right here. You can see you have every single feature for your AirPods. You have all the options to enable and disable. And also, there's a really cool new feature in iOS 16. So set up personalized spatial audio. This is kind of trippy, but also really, really cool. You can set up a personal experience with the spatial audio using your Face ID camera. And now this is rather interesting. I have some screenshots here in settings or in my photos application where you can actually hold your phone and next to your ear and sort of rotate your head while you're wearing your AirPods and it gives you a better spatial audio listening experience. It's kind of trippy, but it is really cool and it's a new setup that you have for AirPods in iOS 16 personalized spatial audio setup and you can set up with the AirPods Pro, the AirPods third generation, the AirPods Max of course and it's kind of weird to having to hold your iPhone to the right and the left side of your face to scan your ears while you wear your AirPods with Face ID but it is kind of cool. You can actually hear some sounds and heptics when you actually do this with your iPhone and your AirPods and the listening experience. I'm not sure if it does really improve the uh, actual listening experience, but it's something new within iOS 16 that Apple really did not mention in regards to AirPods. So yeah, Apple is moving in the right direction. I'm hoping that this leads to a manual way to update AirPods. Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to check for AirPods for more updates, see what's new with the latest is updates just like we do for iPhone. Obviously, in iPhone, you can go to general software updates. Hopefully, Apple will bring this to AirPods and AirPods categories right here in settings. So let me know if you knew about any of these. If you're running the beta, let me know how is iOS 16 developer beta one working for you. Now, if you want to install this new beta on your iPhone, I don't recommend you install it on your primary device. Battery as expected isn't the best as of right now. So just keep that in mind. And there's not that many bugs as I thought they would be but keep in mind the battery is really taking a hit here with the first beta as we got some new lock screen animations and things like that Apple will be sorting a lot of this stuff out but yeah those are some of the iOS 16 features Apple didn't really tell us about I think these are super cool super useful especially face ID being able to be used in landscape mode let me know what you think in those comments down below thank you for watching today's video guys and I'll see you on the next one peace